Hi folks, Justin here. In this series of videos, we're going to look at how easy it is to use Azure DevOps to do your Dynamics 365 and Power Platform solution deployments. The first video is going to cover off just a simple deployment of a solution from source to target. The second video will cover off taking the source solution and putting it under source code control so that we can see any changes that happen over time. Third, we'll look at how to deploy the solution into a target environment while making sure that the target has any prerequisite solutions. And, th and the fourth video is going to cover off deploying your reference data and portal configuration data to your target environment. So let's have a chat about DevOps. So DevOps is a platform for managing your ALM cycle across your project. It can do all sorts of things, but the piece that we're particularly interested in is pipelines. Pipelines allow you to define a set of actions or tasks that are going to go together to achieve an outcome, typically a deployment to somewhere. So by way of example, let's create one and talk about it on the way through. So we have two different types of pipelines that we can build. We can create a build pipeline or a release pipeline. In this case, we're going to do a release pipeline because it's a little bit simpler and we're going to come back to build pipelines as part of the second video anyway. So we'll click on new pipeline. Now there's a series of templates here. None of them suit what we want to do. So we'll create an empty job. And the empty job is going to start off with an artifact, which we'll talk about in the third video and a series of stages. So we get one stage by default, which in this case is all we're going to need. And we need to define which tasks are going to be performed. So we can click here on the tasks, which takes us into the tasks area. Now we need to define the, the actions or the tasks that are going to be performed. So we start off by clicking the plus button and we get a series of out of the box tasks that are available, but we're after some in particular. So we're going to do a search for Power Apps. Now, we don't have any available to us by default, but from the marketplace, it's showing us that there's a few different solutions that are available. So in this first video, we're going to use the first one, which is Microsoft's Power Apps Build Tools. We click on the Get It Free, which will take us to the marketplace. Again, we click Get It Free. So it's going off and doing its thing, and we'll come back and can allow us to confirm that we want to install it in our organization, which we do. It will then confirm that it's installed. And so we'll close this tab off and go back to where we were. Now from here, we're still searching on Power Apps. We'll do a refresh. And we can see that we've got a series of tasks. And probably if I refresh again, there's some more. So it was still installing some in the background. All right. So now that we've got the library of tasks available, now we need to select the ones that we actually want. Now, the very first thing you need to do is choose the task for the tool installer. It sets up the prerequisites in our build or deployment agent, which is like a virtual machine, so that they can be used as part of our pipeline. The next thing we're going to do is export our solution from the source. So we'll add that. Then we want to import the solution into our target. And finally, we want to actually publish the customizations because we're going to deploy unmanaged. All right. So the first, you'll notice here we've got some red messages that some things aren't configured. The tool installer, you don't need to do anything. It just runs a script to install the bits and pieces. So let's start off with the export solution. So here we've got a display name. You can change that if you've got a big heap of tasks, just so it's a bit more logical. Now in the environment URL, what we're going to do is use, uh, because this is Microsoft's task, we can actually use the built-in piece for setting up service connections. So I've already defined a couple of service connections. So if I click on one, you'll see that they're a generic a service connection. And if I edit it, we get the chance to specify the server URL, the username and password, and set up a connection name. 
okay? So in this case, we're just gonna use a user account uh, to access our source and our target, but you can use uh, different mechanisms if you want to. All right, so we specified in this case our URL for our source, our username and password, and importantly, we need to tick the grant access permission to all pipelines so that it can be used. We give it a name, in this case, jmdev. I'll cancel out of that because we've already got it set up. So I've got jmdev and jmuat. So we're gonna go, as you might guess, from our development environment to our user acceptance testing environment. All right, so those are configured already. So in this case, I just, because we're exporting, I'm going from the development. Now for the solution name, I can specify the solution, but we wanna make this package or this pipeline a little bit more uh, versatile. So I don't wanna fix the solution name. So what I'm gonna do is create a variable. So if I click on add, so this will be the solution name variable. Now it's gonna be part of the release scope and I'm gonna make it settable at release time and we'll see what effect that has. All right. I'll come back and put a value in here in a moment. So let's go back to our stage. And here is where we need to specify a solution name. So what we can do is dollar bracket, which is uh, define it, we want to use a variable. So I can say solution name, and that's going to bring in the whatever's in that variable. So I'll copy that because I'm going to use that as the solution name as well, dot zip. And if I do everything with a variable, as per good programming techniques, I can easily change the variable, and then in theory, my whole pipeline will follow that. I'm gonna export it. I'm not gonna export it as managed. I'm not going into that discussion. Um, so that's all we need to do the export. Now, similarly, for the import, we select where we wanna to go to. In this case, the UAT environment, and Equally, we want to specify the, uh, so I just paste that in there, the solution name again. Oh, we need the dot zip. All right, so that's where it's going to get the source of the import from. So the last thing we need to do is get rid of the red message for the publish. And all we need to do spe is specify which environment we want to do the publish in. So once we select that, you can see that all of that goes away. Sorry, all the red messages go away. One last thing we need to do before we try this out is our variable still doesn't have the solution name in it. So I'm just going to flip across to my uh, Power Apps environment. So this is the source of the solution. And here is the JM deployment demo solution. I need the name, not the display name, but the actual name for this. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to jump back to my variable and I'm going to put it into there. All right, we're done. We, the best thing to do is to give it some sort of decent name. Deploy unmanaged solution. And we're going to save that. We'll just put it in the default folder. We won't worry about that for now. And after a short time of saving, all right. So now that we, we've saved it, we've got the create release button available. So we click on create release. So we don't need to worry about the first part, about stages, etc. We've only got one stage, but down here under variables, here's the effect of ticking that box to make it settable at, uh, at runtime. So here's what is pre-populated in the solution name variable, but I could click in there and change that. So I can use this same package to deploy any small patches or anything that I like. All I gotta do is just change that and it will go from my dev to UAT. So we click on create and that will create a release for our pipeline. And if I click on release up there, we can see that it's queued. If I click on the word queued, now we can watch the progress of this as it runs. So it's firing up an agent, which is almost like a virtual machine that's gonna do the work for us. 
And now it's going to go through those tasks that we define as part of our pipeline. First off, it's doing the uh, Power Apps tools installation. Then it's going to go through and do the export and the import, and then the publish customizations. Now, rather than make you sit through the couple of minutes that that's going to take, we'll fast forward as that happens. Okay, so <clears throat> now our pipeline is finished running. So we can see this is the end result. Of what we've got, we can see that it took two and a half minutes approximately to run. And we can see how long each of the tasks within the pipeline took. We can also, if we want to, click to expand any of these and we can actually see the detail of what happened. So in this case, it, we can see that it exported this zip file out to in this case, the D drive, which happens to be the default folder on the our uh, pipeline agent. And that's, that's where it got housed. And then likewise, the, it imported it and published it. And just so that we can see that that actually happened. So here's our target environment. And you can take my word for it, that didn't exist before. So here's our solution that's come across. And in this case, as part of that, we've got a flow, a new entity for our CDS and a Canvas app as part of that. So from that, we can see that that's all it takes to do a pipeline to deploy a solution. Fairly simple. You'll wonder why you didn't do it years ago. I did when I started using them recently. So. Hopefully that's giving you some great insight into uh, DevOps. As I mentioned, there'll be a couple of videos coming up to complete the cycle. Hopefully they're of use. Really appreciate the subscribe and like if you could and your support of the channel is fantastic, thank you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.